A cloud of success for SpaceX, the most powerful rocket launched into the Texas sky this morning. As spectators watch below, jubilant cheers could also be heard from the SpaceX team on the launch feed. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Justin Mormuth. Minutes after liftoff, Starship did explode over the Gulf of Mexico. But as News 6's Mark Lehman explains, the future of space is still looking bright for SpaceX. It was definitely an exciting few minutes for the first test flight of the world's most powerful rocket. Now everything didn't go exactly as planned. Still, SpaceX counts this as a total success. A simultaneous roar from the dozens of engines and SpaceX workers on the ground. This as the 40-story tall Starship and Super Heavy rocket lifted off from South Texas. The Pulsar reports first stage engines not all. What a sight from the ground cameras at Starbase. The test flight clearing the tower as hoped, although at one point five of the 33 engines were not firing. Nearly three minutes after launch, the rocket began to tumble. The entire Starship stack continued to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is, uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. A short time later, the flight termination system was activated, causing the rocket to disintegrate. This was the first step for the fully assembled Starship, which is designed to take astronauts to the moon and eventually to Mars. A monumental feat requiring extensive testing and learning before it's ready for human spaceflight. This was a development test. This is the first test flight of Starship, and the goal was to gather the data and, as we said, clear the pad and get ready to go again. After today's test flight, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk tweeted out a congratulations to the Starship team. He says they learned a lot and will use that data for the next test flight in a few months. In the newsroom, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.